I trust you. Even if I was dragon marked? Well, that's not possible. You'd be in a cloister. You're serious? Misha too? Jessa. Olin, what are you doing here? I live here. That can't be right. Looks like we found your precious cloister. Do you live here because of this? Mm-hmm. To protect everyone. Dragon marks upon our skin. Cloisters keep us safe within. The Dragon King has cursed us all. When he rises, they will fall. This is how Supernaturals protect everyone? It wasn't supposed to be like this. We've got to get him out of here. I can't leave. This is my home. It's not safe to leave. Is that what happened to Nash? Did he try to escape? It was just his time. Where are the others? This way. dragon marked why are they in there for safety when you come of age you'll be in crystal too do you mean when we get our powers magic isn't allowed here i think we should get out of here i have to go i can't be late for lunch sounds just like the lunch bells at the academy we should really get out of here before he tells anyone about you two good point misha yeah coming Do you have any idea how reckless that was? Do you know what would have happened to you if you were caught? Yes. Apparently, we'd be frozen in a giant rock for all eternity. It's time to go. It's not safe here anymore. Okay, all right. Let's just take a breath here. <sighs> Without Lewis to repair the spell, we need to find a way to hide your marks. See how they glow when you're close together. We'll have to stay away from each other at school. We're going to school? Like this? We all need to act as normal as possible until we figure out what to do, which means going to school and not running away in the middle of the night. What about the rest of those kids? You have to do something. You have to get them out of there. Uh, that would call attention to our family. That's the last thing we want. But the council needs to know the truth about the cloister. It really is nothing like we were told. That is not our fight. Not our fight? Then whose fight is it? They already knew. The vacation resort version of the Cloisters is PR, but the Council must know what happens to the Dragon Marked. She's right. You knew all along. That's why you hit us. That is why we had to do anything it took. Anything to keep you safe. But what about the others? Don't you even care? They are not my daughters! And you're not the person I thought you were. Misha! Meet your new best friend. Oh, but I hate this blazer. This blazer is gonna cover your mark. So like it or not, you're wearing it, sister. Lucky for me, sleeves never go out of style. Okay, we're good. As long as we're far enough apart that the marks aren't glowing. 
Have you been feeling weird since we went into the cloister? I wouldn't say weird. I mean physically. I feel amped up. It's probably just the fear that if we're exposed, you'll never be able to live a normal life again. That or the anxiety over being encased in a gemstone forever. You know, the huge. Maybe. It's been a long day. I'm sure you're fine. Besides, if anyone's gonna have a physical reaction to all this, it's me. What do you mean? Not being able to run my wolf for all eternity? Talk about tragedy! Maybe you're lucky your wolf hasn't come out after all. I need some air. What's wrong with me? She's a werewolf! Wolf shifter. Maybe you're lucky your wolf hasn't come out after all. What's wrong with me? We're not controlled by the moon. Having an appetite. Must be nice. Uh-huh. Hey, what's going on? Uh, look at that. What a beautiful day. I think I'm gonna go eat in the quad alone because preferences. Bye. I'm just gonna go and see what that was all about. Clearly that was about this. She's not mad at you. Then who is she mad at? Uh, me. Yeah, Jess and I just got in a big fight this morning. What about? Oh, you know, typical sister stuff that sisters fight about. I should go apologize after I get more food. Anyone want anything? Spirit Committee announcement. It's time to reveal the theme of this year's Equinox Bash. And the theme is... Under the Sea! The idea came from yours truly. There'll even be a tank so the mermaids can get their groove on. Yeah! Right on! Well, so get ready to put on your dancing shoes. As long as they're not last season. Class dismissed! Ugh. Whoever says they enjoy alfresco dining is not being honest. Well, then what are you doing out here? Why aren't you eating inside with everybody else? Because Misha and I can't be in the same place at the same time without our arm candy lighting up. Did you talk to your dad about the cloister? We told him what we saw. He didn't care. He just wants us to stay in school and not get caught. I want that too. We have to stay at least 15 feet apart until we can figure out some way to magically cover the marks. And we have to try and act as normal as possible so we don't call attention to ourselves. Maybe try a little harder on that last part. It's really hard to be normal when all I can think about is my impending doom. And it's ruining my appetite, so you know it's bad. <sighs> hey, there's not gonna be any doom. Because as long as I'm here, I won't let anything happen to you, okay? I... I... I'm getting my appetite back. Are you gonna eat that? <laughs> All yours. Visitor alert. Visitor alert. I come bearing gifts. Very nice. I take it you've been working on your culinary magic. And also, what's your angle? Can't a girl just feel like making something nice for the best dad in Stratford without an ulterior motive? <sighs> okay, fine. I really want to go to the Equinox Bash. Of course you do. I'm sorry, Elda, but I already said no. <sighs> but I might change my mind if you do something for me first. Anything! I need you to keep an eye on Misha Lebron. <sighs> Of course you do.
There's something off about her today. You mean, aside from the obvious? Bad hair, terrible style, and boring personality? Hi, bye. Teenagers are strange. Visitor alert. Uh, useless. To what do I owe this pleasure? A dragon-marked boy was seen in the woods near campus. I'm told he was caught and taken back to the cloister by none other than you, Headmaster. Sounds like someone has an overactive imagination. I trust my source. Your jurisdiction is within Supernatural Academy, Kristoff. Any matters related to the cloister must be reported to the Council. I know my jurisdiction. I don't answer to you. But I assure you, if I learn of any dragon marked here in Stratford, I will be sure to report it. After all, we can't have them running around free, can we? I appreciate your cooperation. While I've had my eyes on the LeBron girls, it seems someone has their eyes on me. Misha, will you be joining us? There's a seat right there next to your sister. I, uh, I didn't do the reading. I'm sorry. I'll take the absence. Weird much? Totally much. <laughs> what are you watching? I've been studying up on human movies so I can figure out the best way to ask Misha to the Equinox Bash. We always go to dances as a pack. It's our thing. Yeah, but in all the rom-coms, the romantic comedies I've watched, it's a big deal to go to the dance with someone you like. And you're supposed to ask in a cool way, like setting up a kissing booth or accidentally sending them a love letter. Projector, play. Humans are weird. Coach Rehan? Hi, Misha. You all set for today's lesson? I actually need to sit out. Healer's orders. Me too. Yeah, uh, I pulled a hammy during dance team practice. Both of you stay after class. I'll have a special assignment for you. Uh, Misha's sitting out again? Why is she even at Supernatural Academy? Huh? Oh, right, yeah. I saw her touch a silver dagger, and she burned her hand. She got her powers. At last! Good work, Elda. How strange she kept it a secret. Probably doesn't want to show off her wolf pup until she can hold her own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have accessories to pick out for the Equinox Bash. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Wait a second, Elda. Why? Would you like to fund said accessories? No. I'm sorry, but... I still can't allow you to go to the dance. But you promised! You said if I spied on Misha, you'd let me go! I said I might, and I do appreciate your help, but circumstances have changed. That's so unfair! Why do I even try? This isn't punishment, Elda. It's for your protection. You'll understand soon. You bash to will me Equinox with go? <laughs> I'll absolutely go to the Equinox bash with you. Really? Have you been watching human romantic comedies? Please. The cool kids call them rom-coms. <laughs> I thought since we're going to the dance as a pack, maybe we should all color coordinate somehow. 
what's your opinion on glitter? Neutral on glitter, but very not neutral on the fact that you say we're going as a pack, even though you're harboring some serious group tension. Tension? What tension? Well, we've got the we can't be in the same room together sibling tension with Misha. Okay, that's not important. Then there's the we're fine, but we're totally not fine besties tension with Tara. We are fine. I just, I have a lot on my mind. Care to share? I just feel like there's a part of me no one sees. Well, if you show them and they don't accept it, then it's their loss. Thanks, Jay. I'm just not so sure everyone feels that way. Hmm. I know it is in here somewhere. Aha! Found it! Oh, I really did miss magic makeup in the human world. Especially after three night shifts in a row at the diner. A little bit goes a long way. Although in this case, I'm not sure it will go far enough. Mija, I know that you're excited to go to your first big dance at the Academy and with a boy you like. I am, but you don't seem to be. Oh, Mija, I wish all I had to worry about was a boy breaking your heart. Going to this dance is a huge risk. A risk I don't think you or your sister should take. I can take care of myself. I want to tell you something. I shifted. What? When? Oh, Misha. The other day, after I yelled at you. Oh, don't worry about that. Shifting for the first time brings up a lot of feelings and emotions. I'm sure Jess explained that to you. I haven't told her. Why not? All these changes. It means that Misha Lebron is really a supernatural. And Misha Jackson doesn't exist anymore. It's exciting to become who I'm meant to be, but... I'm going to miss who I was. You have always been and always will be the same Misha to me. Coming into your powers may make you feel strong. It may even make you feel invincible. But you and Jessa are still at risk. Even at something as harmless as a school dance. Does that mean you're not going to give me the magical makeup? It means I know you have made up your mind, but... I really wish you wouldn't go. <sighs> Just be safe. And tell Jessa when you're ready. I know, Mom. Don't worry, we'll be careful. Thank you so much for meeting me, Yufon. What's going on, Kristoff? Your summons sounded urgent. It is, but it requires your utmost discretion. Elda saw a boy attempting to escape the cloister. She said he was caught and taken back by Jonathan Lebron. Jonathan? Are you sure? My daughter was clear about what she saw, as was Jonathan when I asked him about the incident just yesterday. He threatened me to keep what I knew to myself, by which I take it he had not informed the Council. Council business is confidential, but confidentially, he did not. That's why I reached out. I know he's under a lot of stress recently in his personal life. As number two on the council, I feel you're in the best position to handle this delicately. You did the right thing by letting me know. You can leave it with me. Word to the wise, Jonathan. It's not the truth that matters, but who tells it first? Now that his precious twins have both come into their power, it's finally time to act. They escaped us once, my love, but not this time. Wasted seconds, wasted minutes in a life where I kept drifting away all day. I could feel a hole in me. It was you in the club, kept ticking. Cause we were lost in the distance, and our past didn't fall in this. Yeah, we felt the other missing.